Welcome again to Operation Christmas Day for 2015. It is a really hot day today. We've probably packed half the hampers this morning already. I think about uh, 1,600 have gone out this morning. We have all different organisations here today. We have Ollie here and his beautiful mum, Karen, from Senat Sanitarium. And actually, Karen's come, this is her 11th year. We've been going 12 years. This is her 11th year packing. And um, she's all, she brought a daughter from that age and she's that old now. We have some of our beautiful young adults from House of Praise, our church. We have some more, follow me. We have beautiful Kate from House of Praise and then we have all the lovely girls from Sanitarium. And then we have, come, come, come. See, we have all different organisations come in and help. Oh, and this is my lovely husband here. And we have Tiffany from Simplicity Funeral. Then we have our, our staff from Newcastle Permanent, the beautiful people from Mingara. <laughs> keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. More Newcastle Permanent. Heaps of jobs to do. Sanitarium staff and Mingara and Newcastle Permanent again and we have our beautiful um, people from our own church as well as Chris King's here from Mingara. from Mingara as well. And then out the back here we have, these are our beautiful people who are picking up hampers. We probably send about 280 hampers to St Vinnie's at the entrance and all out the um, entrance way. About 140 into Gosford, 20 out to to King Cumber. There's all different um, places that they go to. Loading up some vinnies at the moment. We have another group of people that have been working flat out in here, um, organising toys. On Thursday we wrapped probably five or six hundred toys, which um, were were donated by Lifetime Books as well as. Um, 2GO and CFM did a toy run for us and collected heaps of toys. A lot of those have only been delivered today, so they get all sorted here. And then we also do men's and women's packs up there in the brown and the white bags. They are personal packs that go to Coast Shelter and all the men's and women's refuges and rehab centres and just, you know, men, women and men, a lot of single mums and dads that just need something for themselves. Hey, I thought I'd just show you um, what one of our Christmas hampers looks like. First of all, I want to thank Mars for supplying the fabulous bags. And then of course, as I said, Clubs New South Wales helped us to purchase chips, the cakes that we um, wrap, the fruit mince pies, the, the biscuits. Wrigley's have supplied heaps. Oh, I want to say a big thank you to Wrigley's because they supply all the Starburst lollies as well as the chewing gum. And of course, we've got Scotch Finger Biscuits that Clubs New South Wales have helped by. And then in the bag itself, I know it might sound a bit strange to some, we've got snack biscuits, we've got muesli bars. Mars Food give us sauces. And then they also give us the noodles. And we buy pasta to go with the sauces as well. Mars Food have given us uh, tomato sauce. And then of course, Sanitarium have given us milk and wheat bix. And then of course, we love to put in a Christmas card which says um, my gift to you and it says is Jesus and it's got the scripture verse about John 3.16 there and we always place in our Christmas hamper you may ask where is God he's here right now reaching out to you um, with love um, God cares and so do we and it, we have on the back all the people that have actually put something into this hamper and we do that so that we want you to know, we want people to know that they're not alone at Christmas. Someone has thought of them. Last Friday, I had a group of women in from the Red Hatters as well as a lot of our own church people and um, maybe I think it was the Rotary Club. And we cut and wrapped 3,000 Christmas cakes that are all going into the hampers today. So you can see that it, it 
just goes over a two week period of actually putting it together but it's months of organisation and just um, working with your partners and letting them know what we might need um, and the different organisations is about 52 to 60 organisations now that collect the hampers because they've got their own clientele that they go out to they know know where they go all over the coast from Woi Woi right up to the entrance Wyong um, even further afield than that and they go north south east and west of the whole central coast we've also had the mariners come in this morning and give us some um, the volunteers gave the volunteers lots of uh, tickets to the game we've had doilos have given vouchers for um, to go and have a meal there we have a lot of different organizations that might not give in to the actual hamper but they like to look after the volunteers so I just want to say a big thank you to Michelle's Patisserie West Gosford as well as the Nut Shop out at Erina and Price Attack Erina Fair. They've all been absolutely fabulous. I just wanted to also um, say thank you to um, Clubs New South Wales. We have um, about four or five different clubs all from the northern region actually who give great finances for the hampers which helps us buy the the chips and the cakes and the and the pies and the things that we put in to make it and lollies to make it more Christmassy. Um, of course I want to always say thank you to Sanitarium Mars Foods um, who are absolutely fabulous supporters and always send their team down to help. But Clubs New South Wales, Doilos, Mingara and also Diggers at the entrance, the uh, Wyong Rugby Leagues Club and one of the very first clubs that ever funded us, which was Halakalani Bowling Club, they funded us 11 years ago with $500 and every year they've given us money and I just want to say a big thank you to them as well um, because without them, it wouldn't be Christmas for a lot of people. So I just wanted to say thank you. One can do a lot, but many can do so much more together and that's what Operation Christmas Hemp is all about. It's, an, it's a community project put on by the community, for the community, and we give our hand of friendship to someone who we may never meet. And we don't give them a handout, we give them a hand up.